All right, starting Saturday night, it is 6.45 p.m. It's the Saturday after Thanksgiving, and it's probably going to be a long night. Hopefully, everything goes right, no problems on the road, no accidents, high-paying customers, premier rides, tips. That's what we want. Let us go. All right, well, it looks like this is going to be an airport ride night for the most part, as most nights are during Thanksgiving. Ah, you know what? I'm refreshed. I got enough rest last night. Had a long night last night. RGB world. And uh, I don't know, I feel good about tonight. I think we're gonna do all right. It's airport runs, leave as soon as we can, and then premier rides on the streets. Premier rides only, bro. We're not paying, we're not paying premium to rent this car on a weekly basis to do X rides for just anybody. Eventually, you gotta do what you gotta do. things I learned recently. When there is no cone there, you can actually take the taxi lane as an Uber, but it's closed. So this way, I'm gonna go into the shuttle lane now. All right. All right. Now the shuttle lane, if you get your customer standing by door 21 and above, you, this is a shortcut. I just want it with um, with uh, lettuce, tomato, and onion included. Okay, so you want a ghost pepper waffle and lettuce, tomato, onion? Yeah, I, on it. Okay, lettuce, tomato, onion. And then the then the eight piece. Combo? No, I just want the sandwich. Okay, an eight piece nugget. And an eight piece nuggets. That's it. All right. See you at the window. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This is the only Burger King that still has the ghost pepper Whopper, but they don't, they ran out of the bun, but whatever. All right, I scarfed down that ghost pepper Whopper and those nuggets. I basically lost no time. I cleaned up the seats, sprayed the car freshener, gargled some mouthwash, and immediately got a $21 ride right here in the airport lot as I did all that. So I lost zero time and I'm, I'm keeping the wheels moving, man. I'm keeping the wheels moving and I'm keeping the uh, income coming. One after another, one after another from the airport until it's 9.24 right now, until it's time to do nightlife. It's time to do Brickle, it's time to do Wynwood, it's time to do Miami Beach, it's time to do Coconut Grove. All right, I've done a few airport rides. Hang on, I'm waiting for some, I guess somebody, some taxi got into a little fender bender or accident. So it's like blocked up. Uh, I had a great ride right here, five minutes away for like $27, $20. $4 plus $3 tip because I had a $12 surge as I approached the airport lot. Okay, I've dropped off a customer here at this Dadeland apartment complex. The Amley Hoya, a staple of my DoorDash days. I used to love delivering to this apartment because these people were tipping very well. But, um,. Yeah, now I'm, instead of deliveries, I'm doing rideshare over here. Actually, I don't, I don't do a lot of Ubering to this apartment complex. But what's happening, folks, is people from the University of Miami are coming back from Thanksgiving. The airport's kind of slowed down a bit. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm at 45%. I've navigated to the supercharger at the falls. So I'm 10 minutes away from there. 
and I'm gonna supercharge up to 99%. So I have enough to run the rest of the night. We're here at the falls by the 7-Eleven on 136. I am leaving the car charging here and I'm gonna get a Slurpee. What did I say? I'm at 43 to get to 130 minutes. All right, I've procured my Slurpee purple flavor. There's other superchargers back there for like regular EVs. There's a Mustang Mach-E. The rest are Teslas. Little snack, midnight snack. I gotta say this, the benefit of having a 7-Eleven attached to a Tesla supercharger, 7-Eleven is way cheaper for food and drink than Wawa. Wawa's kind of expensive, man. You walk out of there, Wawa, I spend more on the Wawa than I did on the supercharging. All right, moving on. This is the ferry that goes to Fisher Island, the private island where all the millionaires and billionaires live. I just dropped off this premiere ride. And now I'm, this is like the secret exit for the Ubers. Now, if you follow my vlogs, I forgot which one it was, but I do, I do a ride there to one of these billionaires, financiers or investors. And I actually put the Uber in the ferry and the ferry went across and I filmed it and I vlogged the whole thing. So check that out wherever that is. Not a bad little premiere ride. That's why I say when you have premiere, you always keep it open even when you're at a charger. Because this, this ride came at 91%, but how did it come at 40 all right welcome to the miami international airport uber lot <laughs> although it smells vaguely of piss and shit and will leave you nauseous <laughs> it is your gateway to the americas the caribbean and the west indies Uh, airport lot is rather empty, which is a bad sign. There's no more surge. Which means if I get one more, well, who knows, bro? It's 1.15 a.m. There might be a couple rides left, and there might be a couple flights. I gotta check the, uh, the schedule. Because everybody's flying back in from Thanksgiving. A lot of UM kids coming back. Tomorrow, Sunday, is gonna be the day for travel madness, I'm guessing. All right, so I got one last ride out of the airport. I'm not going back. I'm here at Midtown Design District because right around this corner here, this, this uh, little corner here, there's always people here at a nightclub called La Victoria. There it is. Uh, it doesn't look like, well, um, could be busy inside. But bro, inside that club, around four in the morning, it's only two in the morning right now, so we it's not ready yet. But some people leave early. The, the fucking, the exodus that comes out of that place is crazy. All right, so we're here. We might pass by Wynwood, downtown, Brickell. You know? Oh my God, do you shop at Reformation? Oh my God, it's like my favorite star. This is Miami Design District, bro. You're not gonna catch anything. Black Friday crowds, people uh, 
climbing over each other here. It's all name brands, bro. Tom Ford, Lanvin, Omega, <laughs> Rolex, Montclair. Look at this place. It's all empty. Dior. I don't belong here. I'm poor. All right, well, I drove by Wynwood and nothing hit. I only have Premier on. There's another little hidden little nightclub here. Uh, doesn't look busy. Um, I'm not gonna go down in category because I'm $10 away from $200 night and I'm not gonna put on Comfort or Electric or X. I'm only searching for Premier. If I get one Premier ride out of here, I'm calling it a night. Tomorrow's another day, all day. All right, we're here passing by 11. There it is. This is the famous Club 11, Miami. This is the valet and pickup area, but I usually like to meet my passengers right here so we can shoot away because the valet line is super long if you go to the other side. That's that. Nothing's hitting. All right, we're gonna do one final little drive around into Brickle, which is down that way. That's the Hyatt where the James L. Knight Center is. Okay, so I drove down Brickle, nothing, no premieres. Drove all the way down here to Coconut Grove. This is the Miami City Hall, and to the left is Regatta. And it seems like there's an exodus of people from Regatta. Now I drove by a $3.50 surge, so I might park here, coffee cup, and pick up an X Comfort or Comfort Electric ride if it comes in. But there is plenty of Ubers in line here waiting to pick up customers and probably take them out to Brickle or or home <laughs> all right I dropped off uh, a group of uh, friends from Coconut Grove I am now in West Kendall navigating these speed bumps it's always speed bumps with me I hate speed bumps a group of three friends one chick two dudes the other dude paid for the ride and he was gonna ask this guy to give him a ride home and uh i kind of conudged him i'm like hey man if you're gonna order an uber you might as well add on to this ride it's gonna save you some money so that's what he did so it was a 23 dollars ride now i'm in west kendall i'm gonna navigate to the supercharger in kendall's at 20 cents All right, we are here at Kendall Village Supercharger. It is at 20 cents right now. 20 cents a kilowatt. So I'm going to charge to 99%. And that's all she wrote. Well, I, I could still, it's only 3.30. I could still get an airport reservation. You know, I'm, I'm actually surprised I haven't gotten any reservations today. But whatever. Better to be rested tomorrow for a full day. So, so far, as you saw, I was at just a little over 200. Only 10 trips, though. Not bad. Started a little bit late. Overall, I'm happy with the way the day. If I can make $213 every day, it would be great. And with, without any hassle, you know? All right, thanks for joining this story time. I'm just gonna keep this one for one day. This was a Saturday, the Saturday after Thanksgiving. It is 3.38 a.m. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Oh, I can't do that on Instagram. Just suscribe.